ng Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good day, Grade 12 Valenzuelanos. Welcome to our new episode in Media and Information Literacy. I am your live streaming host, Mr. Julius Mendoza from Vicente P. Trinidad National High School. Before we begin, let us focus our minds in today's lesson. Key in your name and school in the comment section below and participate actively in the session. Also, Let us not forget our learning checklist such as notebook, pen, and of course, our learning module. In today's session, we will be dealing with issues in media and information such as netiquette, digital divide, Virtual self, dangers of the internet, digital addiction, and cyberbullying. Our learning objective is based on the most essential learning competencies, which is to cite an example of an issue showing the power of media and information to affect change. Before discussing further, let us have a review of the previous session. I would like you to comment the letter of your answers based on the given questions that is being asked. I will give you five seconds in each statement for you to answer. Are you ready? Let's begin. For question number one, this is an exclusive right granted for an in invention and provides the owner with the right to decide how or whether the invention can be used by others. Your five seconds starts now. The correct answer is letter D, patent. Very good, you got it right. For question number two, it refers to the use of the portion of copyrighted materials and may be used without permission of the copyright owner, provided it will be used in reasonable only for certain purposes, which includes commentary, criticism, or in teaching, Your five seconds starts now. The correct answer is pen cut. Cut. Question number two. It refers to the use of the portion of copyrighted materials and may be used without permission of the copyright owner, provided it will be used in reasonable only for certain purposes, which includes commentary, criticism, or in teaching. Your five seconds starts now. The correct answer is... Very good. Letter C, fair use. Did you get it? Very good. For question number three, 
it is a practice of taking someone else work or ideas and passing them off as one as one's own your five seconds starts now the correct answer is letter c plagiarism excellent In addition to our review, we have said that intellectual property law secures a content creator's interest in ideas by granting and enforcing legal rights to create and control physical manifestations of those ideas while creative commons is to increase openly licensed creativity in the commons where the works content is available for legal use. Moving on to our lesson proper about issues in media and information. First, we have the word etiquette. From the root word etiquette, it means that the person has a proper decorum and behaves according to what the society dictates to be right. In a school assembly, for instances, a student who has etiquette will behave appropriately as a sign of good reading. He or she displays courtesy and respect, which shows his good upbringing. Therefore, netiquette denotes the proper attitude that one should observe when uh, communicating online, whether one is talking to someone, someone through a video conference, instant messaging, via email or chat, internet users should remain polite at all times. Second, now move to digital divide. So digital divide, even if we live in the digital age, there are still parts of the world that do not have access to the internet because it is either in a remote area or in extreme poverty. Also, digital divide refers to the economic, educational, and social inequalities experienced by those who cannot afford to have computer and internet access. Digital divide is a difference in access to technology between nations, regions, and based on the demographic factors such as income, race, and age. The following are the common types of digital divide. First one is infrastructure. Number two, device. Number three, education. Fourth is the defensive computing. Fifth is the information security. Cost and blocking. Next. We have the third one, which is the virtual self. Virtual self pertains to one's representation in the virtual world, which exists online and is only available once a person is connected to the internet. In a technical word, virtual self can also be seen as the avatar of a person who portrays the virtual user in graphic or visual terms. Fourth, we now have the dangers of the internet. So we have there the virus, spam, identity theft, spoofing, and phishing. Dangers of the internet in these modern times more and more people are being inclined in using social media 
such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They tend to neglect their responsibilities and more important needs due to their obsession with such social networking sites. This habit can result to uh, various consequences like computer addiction and vulnerability to online crimes. And for our last issue, we have the uh, vulnerab vulnerability to online crimes. So with the advent of our technology, uh, bullying can now also be done through the internet. This is also known as cyber bullying. In this act, harm is done when the bully tells something derogatory about someone and then posts and shares it using social media. Cyber bullying is to threaten, harass, sending mean messages, making fun of a person, or to intimidate a, per a person through the use of computers, social media, and smartphones. It is also the act of bullying through the use of the internet and social networking sites with an anonymous person. Okay, so let's have a review of what we have learned today. We define and give the different issues in media and information such as netiquette, digital divide, virtual self, dangers of the internet, digital addiction, and cyberbullying. For our generalization, issues in media and information helps recognize biases, understand context, and evaluate information so they can effectively use and communicate and communicate it. It's a lifelong skill set that meaningfully impacts every person's education, career, civic engagement, and personal life. Time to check of what we have learned today. You have to identify the issues of media and information. Just simply type the letter of your answers in the comment section below. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, let us have the first number, which is number one. It is to threaten, harass, sending mean messages, making fun of a person, or to intimidate a person through the use of computers, social media, and smartphones. Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is letter A, cyberbullying, then you are correct. Next, number two. It is the ineptitude to control your hunger in using digital age technology like computers and smartphones. Is it A, cyberbullying? Letter B, digital addiction. Letter C, virtual self. Eh, or letter D, digital divide. Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is B, digital addiction, you got it right. Question number three. This pertains to one's representation in the, in the virtual world which exists online and is only available 
once a person is connected to the internet. Is it A, cyberbullying, letter B, digital addiction, letter Z, virtual self, or D, digital divide? Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is C, virtual self, then very good. Question number four. It is a difference in access to technology between nations, regions, and based on the demographic factors, such as income, race, and age. Is it A, cyberbullying? Letter B, uh, digital addiction. Letter C, virtual self. Or D, digital divide. Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is D, digital divide, great. You're doing a great job. And for our last question, Number five, wherein it pertains to a uh, proper decorum online. Or it pertains to proper decorum online. Is it A, digital divide? Letter B, cyberbullying? Letter C, etiquette? Or letter B, netiquette? Your five seconds starts now. The correct answer is letter D, netiquette. Excellent job, my dear learners. How many correct answers did you get? Five, four. Great job, learners. You learned a lot. That is all for today. Your MIL teachers will discuss and provide more examples during your follow-up discussion. Once again, I'm your live streaming host, Mr. Julius Mendoza. I hope to see you again, learners. Good day, everyone. Goodbye.